Hey guys, Isabel here. Welcome back to Realden. So I know I'm a bit late to the party. However, over the weekend I was at Star Wars Celebration. Um, so I didn't get a chance to react to the Kenobi series for you guys when it came out on the Friday slash Saturday. But I'm back home. So today as I'm recording Tuesday, uh, I'm going to be react to uh, both parts for you. Part two will be a separate video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you know when that comes out. Probably today, later today or tomorrow. But today I'm gonna react to episode one of Kenobi called part one. And super excited, I'm super excited for this series. I hope it doesn't disappoint the vibe from the trailer. I've only seen one trailer by the way, so it's like kind of like the teaser trailer. So if other things were revealed in other trailers, I'm not gonna know about them. So super excited, love the vibe. I'm definitely hoping for a big Kenobi character arc. Um, I'm excited to see his journey through his own self and through maybe changing of his ideals from what the Jedi Council represented and what he's going to think when this whole story is over. But enough of me babbling, let's get to the reaction. A long time ago, <laughs> the music is the old music, at least from the prequel era. Oh my god, it's so good to hear it again. Where are we at? Where are we at? What's going on? <laughs> oh, this is Coruscant! Okay, we're back at the Jedi Temple. Nice. Oh, not Order 66 again! I don't know how much my heart can take of Order 66. Let's go, girl. I don't know who you are, but you're doing real good. No! You run! We run. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Execute order 66. Oh, it literally chills though. And now, Tatooine. <laughs> Ten years later. That is a cool shot. It's the Grand Quizzy himself. The fifth brother. Reva. Super excited for her character too. Here, in your lovely saloon. Let's say ours so is Kenobi's a wanderer. <laughs> Help you. He talks a lot. And risk <laughs> exposure. There. <laughs> Reva has lost her patience. <laughs> As if that would do much to stop them. Come on. You will forget this fixation with Kenobi, or I will relieve you of your duty. <laughs> Consider him forgotten. <laughs> she ain't forget. Why is she obsessed with Kenobi? What's going on? How do they do they know each other? What's going on with that? Ooh, a, cra a crate dragon spine? Question mark. Is that crate dragon meat? Oh, Kenobi. There he is. One more word, I take it all. <laughs> His urge to help is strong. Something you want to say? He's like, I could take you down literally in like two swings. <laughs> Kenobi and his animals. But that's that's where he, uh, that's the animal he rode when he dropped off Luke to uh, Uncle Owen. <laughs> he steals food for his pet. Oh my God. <laughs> that's a board. <laughs> <laughs> Tika, if you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first, as a courtesy? <laughs> as we see more and more of the Jawas, I am falling in love with them. <laughs> oh, this man has PTSD. Oh, no. Understandable, but. <laughs> I'm literally getting chills watching this. Master qui <gasps> Yes. That's right, because at the end of Revenge of the Sith, Yoda said he was going to teach him how to communicate with Qui-Gon, because he had one last lesson to learn. He's obviously having some trouble with that. It's the homestead. <laughs> it's little Luke, little, little tiny old Luke. 
Oh, like his father. I wonder if he's reenacting pod racing, because by like the, the different um, controls he's pretending to hold, that looks like pod racing. This is honestly like heart wrenching. Is that one of the ships that Luke plays with in A New Hope? That will be one get. Oh my god. <laughs> you have no idea what I've been through. <laughs> yes, he do. You were once a great Jedi. Listen, his brother betrayed the time him. Time the Jedi is over. He's been through some stuff, emotionally. He's got PTSD and sur go guilt. Go back to the guilt, town. Survivor's guilt. Let it go. That's what happened. What planet is this? Oh, we are not an Alderaan. <laughs> we finally get to see it. Alderaan, is that little Leia? Oh, I didn't think she was gonna show up in this, to be totally honest. Oh, look at the hair. Oh my God. It's 10 year old Leia. We're in the woods. Oh, look at Leia. A rebellious girl from the start. Oh my God. There she is, little Leia. <laughs> you behaved as well as you climb. You'd be a senator already. <laughs> You'll have to change. <laughs> yes, the characterization of Leia. So good. Oh my God. Who is this? I don't need you here right now. Does no one see him steal like slices of meat every single day? Like he just never gets caught. No. This, when the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. <laughs> Anakin is dead. Hanoi. Anakin. We're not under the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Reva. Is information. I wonder if Reva is one of those children, one of those four children. You think you could protect them who from ran me? from the Jedi Temple? Or this man and his family die. <laughs> you know, I don't really agree with Reva. The Jedi are but you cowards. gotta admit, she gets things done. Stand She's down, angry. Like, angry. Is that why Reva Ooh. wants to capture Obi-Wan so much? Because she feels, like, abandoned from, from Order 66? When I'm old. Okay. Reva? Okay. <laughs> Be careful, third sister. You literally don't know how happy I am to be able to see Alderaan again. <laughs> like, because we've never actually seen inside the planet, I don't recall or think, in any of the series or movies. Encourage her. <laughs> yes, and it's Bail Organa. Come on, thank you. Was that 3PO? Your Highness. You don't need manners when you're talking to a lower life form. Then I guess I don't need manners when I'm talking to you. <laughs> You know the difference yeah. between you and me, cousin? I him to like you, so you repeat what he says, even though you don't really know what it means. You think being like him will make people frightened. Why not? But really, you're the one who's scared. Me that. Leia! <laughs> that was so good! I love her! He was being horrible! <laughs> she said, I apologize to nobody. Oh! No. <laughs> oh, no. Hello, princess. For you. Run! She must be one fast 10 year old. I'm just kind of laughing because they're putting all these little obstacles to slow that people down to make Leia faster. But the obstacles are very easily. You can outmaneuver them. So I just think it's funny. <laughs> A fallen branch? Just jump over it. They're like, oh no, what do I do? Oh, Leia. <laughs> I wonder though, how many times has Leia been kidnapped before Darth Vader kidnapped her in A New Hope? <laughs> then, or a bounty hunter. Only you know Obi Wan. Important she really is. Come on. <laughs> if Leia is, she is to the boy. What about your duty to his sister? Yeah, Obi Wan. Come on. Not who I used to be. Obi Wan. <laughs> Find someone else. Obi Wan. 
she'll be better off. I understand survivor's guilt. There's a lot of guilt. I do understand. That's why I want to stay close to Luke. Make sure nothing happens to him. I understand. But Obi-Wan! <laughs> oh, is that the other Jedi? Mm. Oh, that's a good alarm system. I'm wondering which droid that is, though. She's headed for Dayu. Oh, it's Bale. Okay. <laughs> Don't hurt! Oh! No. Lola! Not Lola. My father will rescue me. No one's coming for you. Incorrect. Obi-Wan is coming. Oh, is it his saber? Oh. Oh, it is! <laughs> oh, and it's Qui-Gon's too. Or not quite gone. It's it's Anakin's too. Sure oh, gonna Reva, capture your children. The war. She said she's strategic, though. I will give her that. Also, I'm impressed. Obi Wan even remembers where in the sand he buried his his sabers. Also, Anakin hates sand. Why would you put his saber in sand, like Ray did in a uh, The Rise of Skywalker? You coming or not? Yeah, he going. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Obi Wan. Deborah Chow, really good job so far. Episode one so far. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. We saw a little bit of Luke. Saw a lot of Leia, was not expecting that. As I said earlier, I've only seen the first trailer and Alderaan and Leia, as I can recall, weren't really in those trailers. So super surprise for me, a fantastic surprise. The characterization of Leia, like young Leia, spot on in my opinion. Um, loving the, the like I, I love character arcs. So loving Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan's character start, uh, survivor's guilt, PTSD, you know, obviously he's very not the man he used to be, but I am excited to see him, to see where he ends up. Reva, as I said in my reaction, don't really agree with her what she's doing, but I will give it to her. She is strategic and I feel like she gets stuff done, which I love characters who are willing to do the nitty gritty and the dirty to get you know, what they want and get their, you know, their goals reached. So I'm here for Reva. Super excited to see where her character goes from this. And uh, I'm super excited to watch episode two. So guys, that was my reaction to episode one of Kenobi. Be sure to leave a like, comment. What are you most excited to see in the rest of these episodes? And what was your favorite scene from this episode? Let me know. And be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know I upload future Kenobi reaction videos as well as Kenobi discussion videos. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.